G'day, welcome back to another Hearthstone Rise of Shadows card review. Nailed it. So today, Blizzard has released seven new cards. I'm going to go through them all, give you my thoughts and impressions in Constructed and Arena. So we'll start with the neutrals here. First up, we have Hecklebot, rare neutral minion, four mana, three, eight, taunt. Battlecry, your opponent summons a minion from their deck, and it's a mech. So it's very similar to the card in Naxxramas, Deathlord. Deathlord was exactly the same, except it costs one less. It had one less attack, and the effect was on a death rattle, not a battle cry. Um, so this card is a worse tempo play on turn four than Deathlord, because it pulls the minion straight away, whereas Deathlord you could just play out, and they weren't getting the minion straight away. This seems better in the case of you play it late game, and have say a polymorph in your hand you pull the minion and just polymorph it straight away seems like it'll be a good tech card if otk decks or combo decks that rely on a minion are popular in the meta this will counter things like mechathune and malagos really well can't see it being competitively viable except for that case pretty bad in arena since you'll almost always pull a minion bigger than 1-1 one, one or 2-2 two, two, making the stats to mana ratio pretty bad for this card you'll also lose on the spot if you pull a big minion from their deck but yeah i don't see it being good in arena okay we'll move on to mage here we have ray of frost common mage spell one mana twin spell freeze a minion if it's already frozen deal two damage to it so it's very flexible when you consider you can use it to freeze two minions you can freeze one big minion across multiple turns deal two damage to one minion for two mana or deal two damage to two minions if you play a spell like frost nova my feeling is it doesn't really accomplish enough to take up a card slot though. Two mana deal two isn't really a good deal when you consider Frostbolt deals three and freezes a minion for two. Would have been much more powerful as deal two damage to a minion and freeze it. Would have been even more insane if it could have went face too. But this is the card we got so yeah. Synergizes well with cards like Sorcerer's Apprentice and Vexcrow but are really bad to discover off cards like Caligos. My feeling is you'd never play it over Frostbolt, but perhaps with more synergy cards it might see play. Wink wink, we'll get to that. Should be okay in Arena when you consider Flame Geyser, which was a 2 mana deal 2 add a 1-2 elemental to your hand, saw play, and is about a 70-ish point card. This is worse than Flame Geyser though, since it can't go face and you don't get the elemental. So okay, but not great in Arena. Next up we have Mana Cyclone, Epic Mage Minion, 2 mana 2-2 two, two elemental battle cry for each spell you've cast this turn add a random mage spell to your hand it's very similar to babbling book which was a one mana one one add a random mage spell to your hand if you're just adding one spell to your hand with this battle cry if you've played one spell this is better in the fact that you can scale up the amount of spells that you'll get but it's a worse tempo play on turn one than babbling book We'll be good with a coin, elemental evocation, ray of frost, uh, arcane missiles, mirror entity, and any other low cost mage spell. I will also synergize really well with sorcerer's apprentice and cards that generate cheap spells like banana buffoon. You can convert those bananas into random mage spells. Starting to see the beginnings of a tempo mage deck once you put all these cards together. Um, if more low cost mage spells are printed, I can definitely see a tempo mage coming back and being a thing should be an okay pick in arena since half of the games you're going to get the coin so you you'll get a rebate on the coin and turn it into a random mage spell this card becomes a lot better the more spells you draft yeah okay pick but not not fantastic in arena but okay move on to shaman here we have common shaman minion walking fountain eight mana four eight elemental has Lifesteal, Rush, and Wind Fury. Okay, wow, that's a lot of stuff right there. Very similar to Alakir the Windlord, except it loses the Charge, Divine Shield, and Taunt. But it more than makes up for it with the uh, Lifesteal, Rush, plus one attack, and plus three health. The so Storm Watcher's off in the corner crying after seeing this card. A very strong Control Shaman tool since it will have an immediate impact the turn you play it. Potentially it will deal eight across two targets uh, it'll heal you for eight and possibly it's still going to be alive next turn so yeah lots of value you might not even main deck this card too you might just get it incidentally through cards like earthen might and menacing nimbus which would be a really good result of those two cards countess ashmore will draw two of these since it has lifesteal and rush so perhaps you put all three of those cards in a deck you can see the same play if elemental or control shaman become a thing is this the best common card in the set probably so far uh, this will be insane in arena when you consider amani warbear is one of the best cards in arena right now and this compares very favorably with that one more mana but you're getting lifesteal and wind fury and they have very similar stats so yeah very very good pick in arena 
We'll move on to Muck Morpha, Epic Shaman Minion, 5 mana 4-4 four, four, Battlecry, transform into a 4-4 four, four copy of a different minion in your deck. So this is what you get when you cross Faceless Manipulator with Barnes. Uh, my first thought is to put it into an OTK deck with Malagos, Lightning Bolt and Totemic Smash. You can deal 30 damage on turn 9 with those cards. That's very tempting. I tried that deck last expansion. It wasn't very good since if you never drew Malagos you almost always lost. Perhaps this makes it more consistent now. If you never draw the Malagos, you play the Muck Morpha and then you go into the combo. And if you do draw the Malagos, you play Eureka to get the Malagos out. Uh, it's important to note that this has different minions, so it shouldn't summon your other copy of Muck Morpha. If you're playing two copies of Malagos, it shouldn't turn into the other copy of Muck Morpha, which makes it a lot more consistent. It's very similar to the Priest card Shadow Essence, which summoned a 5-5 copy of a minion in your deck. So perhaps this is the beginning of a big Shaman deck, but I don't really see that seeing play without more support. Don't really see what cards you'd put into that deck. Probably not great in Arena, since it has not the best stats to mana ratio. And you can't always get it to transform into a minion with a good effect. Normally it'll hit a neutral minion with no effect, but yeah. Not great, but not, not terrible either. Okay, next we have Commander Rysar. Legendary Paladin minion. 3 mana 4-3. Your secrets trigger twice. Okay, so it has very good stats to mana ratio and a very solid effect. Uh, it's low cost, so you should be able to combo it with the secrets fairly easily. Works well with the following secrets. You have Eye for an Eye, it'll deal double the damage. You've got Hidden Wisdom, it'll draw double the cards. You've got Noble Sacrifice, which will give you two two ones. You've got Redemption, which will summon two minions when they die. And Never Surrender, which will give you four HP to all your minions when your opponent plays a spell. Uh, not good with Auto Defense Matrix or Repentance, since doubling those effects doesn't actually achieve anything. So if you slap this into a deck with Bell Ringer Sentry, Secret Keeper, Mask Contender, and Subject 9, is that a enough to make Secret Paladin a thing. Uh, my feeling is it's not quite there yet. Possibly with a few more cards I can see it being a thing. It's very close to being viable I think, but not quite just yet. Should be busted in Wild with Mysterious Challenger. That card was already busted. Uh, should be good in Arena since it has good stats and sometimes you'll get an upside so yeah, should be good in Arena. And finally we have Fellord Betrug, legendary warlock minion, 8 mana, 5 7 demon. Whenever you draw a minion, summon a copy with rush that dies at the end of turn. So it has low stats to mana ratio with no immediate impact if you play it on turn 8. Uh, you can always play it on turn 10 with life tap and hopefully draw a big minion that you'll summon with rush that'll die. Even better on turn 9 with solarium and hopefully you draw 3 big minions with big death rattle effects. In standard right now though, I can't really think of any big death rattle minions you want to summon off of this, except for maybe Dr. Morrigan or the Undertaker, but that doesn't really accomplish much, and I don't see it being unfair enough to see play. So unless Blizzard prints more big death rattle minions for warlock or demon synergy cards maybe or big neutral death rattle effects i don't really see this seeing play should be good in wild with cube block though not great in arena since it has pretty bad stats to mana ratio even on turn 10 you need to hit at least like a by 5 probably for it to pass the vanilla test which seems a bit tricky to do if this survives though which it should be able to do in arena you'll be getting a lot of value so not the best card in arena not the worst card either but yeah not the best okay that's all the cards blizzard has for today thank you very much for watching i'll be reviewing the next set of cards they release in the next 24 hours so i'll catch you in that video see you then ciao I'm just going to wait 20 seconds for the local recording. Like an added 20 seconds.